welcome to Hair by Christy. Um, I thought I'd take a quick minute and kind of show everyone a quick hair tutorial of how to get your hair to look better <laughs> or get it looking good when, you know, this may be the texture that your hair is, like if you don't straighten it. So as you can see, I, you know, my hair is pretty fine. Um, and I don't have a lot of hair, even though it may, it may look like it right now. It's just because it's crazy. But, um, one of the things that like with my hair is I have to shampoo it. I have to wash it every day. Um, and if I don't use a round brush whenever I'm blow drying it, this is what it ends up looking like. And obviously nobody wants this look. Um, so I'm going to show you really quickly kind of, um, how I go about, taking this and turning it into something that is wearable. Um, so today I think what I'm gonna do is maybe focus on like a top knot of some kind, and then we're gonna play with this area down here to get it looking a little bit better. Um, so I'm gonna take this top part and I'm just gonna clip it up out of my way. And I say clip it up, but I don't have a clip right now. So I'm just gonna throw it up like that. And I don't know how many of you have or have used or like or what your comments are, but this is a bed head and it's making waves waver thingy. And I absolutely love it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's something that I can do like whenever my hair looks like this. Um, I will tell you that you're always gonna get the best result when you use this waver if you've got some texture in your hair. So whenever you're going to like shampoo your hair and you're going to blow dry it, like throw some product in it that maybe has a good hold to it. Not like hairspray, um, but something that, like there's a, a good product that I use by, um, who's it by? Look, I think it's by Mika. Um, but it's called like Texture Undone or something like that. And I put some of that in there just to give me some pieciness and some hold because that is really helpful when you're wanting to go with like waves. So you can see just by doing that top layer right there and from the front, like now this is starting to look like more of a style that you can wear. Um, I'm just gonna throw this over and I will kind of tell you how, you, so you wanna make sure you comb your section, hold it out tight. You're gonna take your handy dandy waver and you're gonna start at the top, the root, open, close, and you move down before you close again. Open, close, open, close, all the way down to the end. And I mean, you can already tell, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you can already tell the difference between like looking at me, this side, which is just kind of like, oh, uh, and then this side, which looks like it's been nice and waved. So same thing over here. Right at the root, open, close, open, close. And it's just, it's such an easy process, guys. Um, I will tell you, I did put a heat protectant in my hair. I love Redken's Extreme Play Safe. It protects up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's not going to give you like much texture or anything like that. So it really is just for a heat protectant, which if you're using a waiver, or really anything, a flat iron, anything. You need to have a heat protectant in your hair, 100%. That just makes good sense, you know? Um, so again, I'm just gonna lift this up. And this isn't like, especially if you have hair that's kind of textured like mine, where it's got wave in it and some like natural movement, you don't have to to put heat on every section of your hair if you just kind of embrace that natural movement that's already in your hair. So, I mean, you can already tell just from this, like, that looks so much better, right? So, I'm going to let this top part down, and there's a couple different things we can do. I'm really feeling today to be like a top knot kind of day, because <laughs> I just don't want to do, I just don't want to deal with my bangs. And what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my top knot here. And obviously, before I wear this out, I would swap this band out for a clear one. I just don't really have one right here on me. Um, and I'm gonna go through in the back, and I'm just gonna do the same thing here. And it's super easy, y'all. Super, super easy. I did not plan on doing this video this morning, so the lighting's not great. My room is a mess, but you know what? Such is life. I got three kiddos. Um, got a salon. Um, and it's just like every day is kind of like fend for yourself. We're in survival mode. So that being said, I mean, that's super cute, right? And if you want to, and, and I always do, so I guess I would say always do it, but it really depends on your texture of your hair. So um, I always like to back comb and tease when I wear the waver in my hair because I like for it to look super thick and super like lived in, just natural. Um, so what I'll do, so I pick up and I just back comb towards my scalp. And I like to do three little rows here. So one, two, three, and then they just kind of fall on each other. And you can use your finger to kind of smooth it out. And then here on the side, one, two. And again, just kind of smooth it out. But this really helps to give that illusion of like, thicker hair. And guys, if any of y'all know me personally, like my most used saying, but you know, the one that bothers me the most is like, I have like four hairs on my head, y'all. Like I do not have thick hair. Look at it. Like it is, it's just, it's not thick in any shape, form or fashion. And, um, but doing this, like you would, you would never know, right? So this is a real quick, easy way to kind of go from that air dried look. You can't wear it like that because you look, you know, it's not like a uniform put together thing. Um, but you can go from that air dried look to something that looks like you actually spent some time on it, even though you may not have. All right, I've got my clear little thing here and I'm going to just stick it in my hair and this is where you really can tell that like mama has no hair because look at this. And I have to do this a few times. Uh, most of the time I have to do it a few times because like it just doesn't always look great. And I'm gonna keep pushing this down. Like so, there we go. And I pull front to back, I pull side to side, whatever it is you need to do. And I'm always loosening right here as well. Um, of course, this is not wanting to cooperate with me, but you know, so again, such is life. Um, but overall, this is how I can go to work today. I mean, obviously not with this shirt on, but this is a quick, easy way to get your hair looking cute, right? It's not awful. It looks like I've put some work into it. And um, I would even, like for me, must have products. So this is Big Sexy's Hair Dry Shampoo. And I do like to pick it up and dry, spray some and kind of scrunch because it gives you like that really textured, I don't know, like rough, maybe rough isn't the word. Maybe no one really wants their hair to be rough. I don't know, but it works. It's certainly not because my hair is dirty. I just washed it um, and we'll wash it again tomorrow because that's just how my hair has to be treated. But there you go. Like you can see that it just looks like it's nice and curled all over. So I hope this is like a quick help. I hope it makes it where like you feel like you can do this quickly um, in the mornings. Uh, let me know what you think.
Thanks, guys.